So I just realized something. After my phone got switched, all of the pages look like they're like edited. And all of my uplifting, like, um, oh gosh, influencers are now kind of like insulting. And like every, it's as if they switched out my phone and where I was gassed up to build up my self-esteem, now it's slowly being picked at. So I guess they're trying to see, like, I guess the think tank came up with, oh, look, alopecia. Don't look at my alopecia. I guess the think, think tank came up with, like, okay, we gassed her up. We built her up. We, we made these pages that told her, go, you can do it. Keep going. You're strong. You're beautiful. You Now let's see if we can do the opposite, which, in my opinion, is what a lot of people were trying to do in, in the beginning. So I'm assuming that whenever they switched my phone, they saw the pages that I, 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 I like and they saw the influencers and whatnot. And so now they're trying to do the opposite of gas me up. They're trying to like get in my psyche. And I, I, named, them, I named this a while back. I call them psyche killers because they really try to fucking get to you. And if you don't know, if you can't recognize it, motherfuckers will really get in your psyche. And they've been doing it to me for the longest time, but I have luckily had people who hacked my shit and are like, like really built me up, really gassed me up whenever I was going through some shit. And so now I'm noticing like they're trying to gas my ass down. Um, they make stuff up and then they make fun of you for it. So this is some evil ass shit. Like y'all, people can believe in God or they, they believe in these auras and they believe in you know, just like Capricorn, they, you know, and, and and like Virgo stuff. And you can't believe that there's some fucking demonic ass presence out there attacking people, pinpointing people. And I'm getting attacked. I'm like, you can say what you want. You can do what you want. So they, they've switched up. And I've noticed, like, if you look close on some of the videos, like they're edited, just like they edit my videos. Cause I never made no motherfucking apology video. Um, they, they edit what people are saying and they try to like really diss you and like kind of like like edit or 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 just kind of really 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 make it you um make it so that you know that you're getting insulted and you're not as good, you're not as pretty, you stink, you this, you're that, and so it's just another fucking, it's, what's that phrase go, uh, same game, different levels, same something, different, de different devils, and it's the same fucking devils, I promise you, it's the same people, it's the same ass people, maybe more or less people from a think tank, um, but whenever, I realized like something lifted off of me. I'm not going to go back to that level of not. Once you realize your fucking worth, whether it was strangers or pages or quotes or, you know, who, who gassed you up, I'm never going to go back, back to feeling like I'm not significant ever again. Just like you dated somebody and they were everything to you. They were your fucking everything and you thought, I'm never going to be able to live without this person. I'm going to be so depressed. I can't make it. I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm like, life sucks. And then a few years go by and you come to the realization, I am never going to go back to being treated like that again. I'm never going to go back to that person. Um, it's the same thing with your self-esteem. You got to be because they will fucking try you and they are fucking trying me and it's getting on my nerves because one, I'm not no fucking four. But I'm going to start saying that for the rest of fucking for a very long time until I annoy myself into not saying it. Um, yeah, you, it's like you would never allow yourself to get treated once you step out outside of, of something and see how bad it was. And then realize later it was even worse than you thought it was. Um, you have to do that with your self-esteem. I'm never going to let my shit get beat down. I don't care. Maybe when I get a little bit older and I, oh, my face. My phone's dying. Um, and I'm actually do believe I've dropped a few 
few points. But y'all can do what y'all want, bitches. And I think that they use what would hurt them. What would knock their so psyches down. My shit is fucking Gucci. Like, my psyche is Gucci. As long as I'm not having creep thoughts. As long as a fucking private entity is not fucking whispering, I'm fucking you. In my ear or something even worse. Um, I'm fucking Gucci. So keep at it. Keep it coming. Let me screenshot some shit on y'all's asses. So, yeah, you can't let people in. You know, everything else. Thank you. Because I'm going to put that shit in my memoir if y'all are not already fucking writing it with my evil Knievel fucking uh, twin. So, yeah. Keep it coming. I'm just going to get a new phone on y'all's asses or fix an old one. Um, so, yeah, they're just, they're just psyche killers. And it's almost, it's pathetic when you realize what's happening. You, when you realize how dark and evil and like, it's almost gross and, and it almost makes you sick to your stomach to see like when they're so low that they're going to go out of their way to try to insult you or make you feel lesser than. I know my strengths. I know my weaknesses. Like I'm not the Miss fucking America. I'm not fucking Einstein, <laughs> but I genuinely like myself and I genuinely think I'm a good person and I know like I have shortcomings mentally because of a lot of things that have happened to me since 2017 but I think that I have a good foundation and I think that I'm a good fucking person and creep thoughts be damned and I know that this is this isn't something that just happens to me I thought that I was the only person that this has happened to but it just so happens that I'm the only person who has her thoughts um, uploaded to the world. This shit happens to people from the dawn of time. If they want you, they want to get you. And then they get mad when you write about it. They're like, shh, all I see is shh. We all have chapters that we don't talk about. No, y'all gave me some fucked up, funky ass, janky ass narrative. And then y'all tried to hush me so that I don't get to tell my fucking side of the story. So that I don't get to warn people. They will fuck you up. They will lie on you. They will make up stuff. They'll replace you. They'll edit this. If they will, they'll do bad things because bad people fucking are low scum of the earth. And they do bad things. So keep your fucking head up. If you like yourself and you like how you look and you like who you are inside. They're going to attack you if they want you. They, they're not going to want you to know your worth. I still don't fucking know my worth. Like, I still literally don't know my monetary value, but I'm pretty sure I have some. So, um, that's why they rent me out and then they fire me, hire me at these places like I'm a fucking John Deere tractor. Somebody else is getting paid for my presence and I'm not. That is fucked up. But if you think you're going to hack my fucking happy pages and my positive fucking uplifting fucking pages, I'm going to call you out on everything y'all do to me. So y'all better be a little bit more subtle because a bitch is starting to call people out. 